This is a video about how to turn a carded bat into roving and then spin it. I keep my roving, no, I keep my bats in a, in a grocery bag. First of all, because it keeps the cats from tearing them apart. And it also is a way to make sure that the, the um, moisture in the air does not act upon these, upon the bats. Um, each one is rolled in paper towel or a piece of paper which, which will moderate the humidity any place it ends up. So that's what I'm pulling off here. This is a bat that is made entirely of wool. Um, the blue and all of the colors in it are, are all wool. Uh, the brown is a superwash. And I was mistaken, inside the, the bat itself is some mohair. So there's a long uh, gray fiber in there that is actually a mohair. Um, you tear it off. There's no real delicate or uh, necessary way to do that. You tear a strip off the bat. And you can see in there all that there's a lot of different colors sandwiched between the blue and the brown. So you take that strip that you pulled off and you draft it. And that's what I'm doing there. Drafting is the process of pulling out, uh, pulling the uh, fibers little by little. You don't want to tear it in half or off, but it, it aligns the fibers. It allows for some air to go in there, and, it, and what you're doing is paralleling all of the fibers that are in that piece of the bat. And this is what you would do with roving in general if you bought uh, uh, commercial roving. Anyway, you would do the same thing. And I'm scratching my nose, not picking my nose there. I, that looks terrible. Okay, there's my, my drop spindle. Okay, I have a leader on there. That's what that string is. And I'm dropping the leader. I'm making a half hitch around the spindle shaft. Now we're going to pull one end of the roving out a little bit. And we're going to tuck it through the loop in the leader and spin. I am spinning clockwise. If you look really closely, there's already a, a very, very fine um, uh, wool single on that, on that <laughs> spindle, but we're going to use it over that for the purposes of this video. And there's Rurik's butt. Oh, there he is. Yep. Okay. So really, that's what you do. Now you draft it while it spins. Keep it spinning. Keep drafting. And this really goes quickly once you get the hang of it. And once you get, oh, and there he is. Uh, <laughs> once you get the hang of this, it goes very fast. It's it's very, and that that there is pulling out um, a slug. I will be doing a thick and thin on this. So what you see, you're going to see an uneven spin, and that is deliberate. I'm making an art yarn here. So you will, you will find it to be slug. That's part of what I'm making on purpose. And that's how fast you can spin that much uh, fiber. It doesn't take long at all. It's in real time. So then you wind it on. Wind it onto your spindle shaft because it serves as your bobbin while you're, while you're doing this. Okay. Around. Drop that half hitch back on there, and you're good to go. And really, that's pretty much what all this is about. <laughs> you know? um, that's how simple it is. And this will go, you know, when you practice this, it goes unbelievably fast. Okay. And I'm going to 
gonna take this now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It is, like I said, a slubbed yarn, um, but you can also see, I hope, how the yarn changes uh, uh, thickness and color. There's brown in there, there's a little purple in there, and, and that's all going to spin into a, a really neat yarn. And there's Rurik again. Now I'm pulling this bat out again because I want to show you something. And there it is again. Oh, and Rurik wants to show you that he can fit in the bag with all of the bats. Um, which I wish you wouldn't do, but this is why I, I keep them stored the way I do. <laughs> um, I am ripping off another hunk here because I want to show you how you can store this after you do your roving, after you make your roving out of it. Rurik is such a ham. He really is. He's very photogenic and he knows this. I'm biased, but... So we're going to draft this again. See how this works. And you can see how, how much longer your piece of roving ends up once you do this, once you draft it. And I am stepping out of the leash. Ta-da! You can, you can see that mohair now. That's that kind of silvery white stuff. And that's a really lovely thing. And Rurik has tipped over. So you can take your roving and on your hand and tuck it in and there you go that's pretty much all it takes and Rurik has passed out not really but he's kind of having a little refuse resist moment because he would like to be off the off the leash and terrorizing the neighborhood thank you very much have a good day